Jesus' name, amen. Welcome back to the Salvation Links today. It's another day we thank God for his mercy, for protecting us, for guiding us. We know we are going through this uh, uh, COVID-19 epidemic problem right now. And uh, a lot of people are sick. Some people have died, but we have to continue to trust in the Lord, knowing that our Lord will help us out of this problem in jesus name amen today we're going to be just praying we want to pray that the lord jesus christ will help us out of this problem we want to pray because there is no other god we have accepting so let us jump into the word of god and see the prayer point we're going to be using today mark 4 35 to 40. on that day when evening had come he said to them let us go across to the other side and leaving the crowd they took him jesus christ with them in the boat just as he was and other boats were with him and a great windstorm arose and the the waves were breaking into the boat so that the boat was already filling but he was in the stand asleep on the cushion and they woke him up and said to him teacher do you not care that we are perishing and he woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and they were a great calm he said to them why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? So the Lord is asking us today that you become and have faith in the Lord. Look, one thing I want us to understand is, uh, as I said the last broadcast I have, that uh, the national motto of this country, America, said, in God we trust. I believe that in this situation we are right now, in God we trust. We know that we are in problem. COVID-19 virus is, is spreading, and I pray that by the powerful name of Lord Jesus that it will cease. Today, I want you to understand that we are not alone. The Lord Jesus Christ is in this problem with us. By faith, we should believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. We should call upon him. And he will definitely answer us. You see, the thing is that we need to come together as Americans. We need to come together. You know, the last time I said, let us call for National Fasting Day and pray and pray. And the Lord will definitely answer us. In Jesus' name. Are you ready to pray? Our prayer today is very simple. According to where we read, Jesus is with us in this country because in God we trust and his son Jesus Christ is with us. So we are going to call upon his name and say Jesus to help us and we will believe that this COVID-19 virus has come to an end in Jesus' name. Are you ready to pray with me? Let us pray. Father, I thank you. I glorify the powerful name. You are a merciful God. There is no other God like you. Abba, Father, we call you. At this difficult time, we turn unto you, Lord. Father, we look up to you knowing that you will help us out of this problem we are. My Lord, remember that according to your word, you have rebuked, you have redeemed all from, from the cause of the law, my Lord Jesus Christ. All our sins have been wiped away. Father, we turn our face towards you. And we pray, Father, come to our help. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, Take away this COVID-19 virus. Father, heal us from this sickness. Father God Almighty, stop the death that is rolling every day. In the name of Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you because you have answered our prayers in Jesus' name. Our Lord is a good God, I want you to know. Please, one thing I would like to say. I know we are a country, smart country, full of data, statistics. Please, can we minimize the pronunciation of the numbers of people that are going to die. It, we are setting a cost law in motion. I, okay, spiritually. You might not understand what I mean. But thank God I have some, I have Christian brothers and sisters. I have daddies out there that are, they know what I'm trying to say. That because there is power, the power of life and death is in your tongue. 
we should be positively looking at this, knowing that God will help us to minimize this. In Jesus' name. And for some of us that are out there, please um, let us go according to the flyer that the president sent out. Let us continue to do this uh, uh, social distancing, uh, wiping, being careful in everything we are doing. Uh, some people are saying that, oh, I am, I am bored at home. Please, you are only bored at home because you don't have the uh, COVID-19 in, in your system, right? You, you are only bored at home because none of your family have it. I don't pray that your family will have it. But when one of your family have it, you will not be bored because all your mindset will be uh, over your brother or your sister that have it to get here. But please, if you're going to help, I, everybody need to concept, everybody need to contribute in helping to minimize this virus by staying home, doing exactly what the government asks us to do in Jesus' name. And by the grace of God, we'll come through this. We'll, this will pass and we'll glorify the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Please go out there. Do what we need to do. Wipe down. Be careful as you go out. And God in his infinite mercy will continue to protect us. We'll come out of this in Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless you.